We open with a flashback. Bend is kindly asking Peter to just put on the mine helmet so he can get his memories back, and Peter decides to break the helmet and kick Ben into psycho-reactive goo before calling him a clone job. I mean, I was pretty traumatized by the end of Beyond, Dan, but I'm not sure that's how it went. Ben says that Peter sent him to hell before asking who's in hell now, and I believe the answer is all of us, Ben. All of us. Peter, ever the pragmatist, points out that's not how it went, and if Ben is remembering it like that, it's only because his memories were destroyed, and anyone who threatens Peter's city has a problem. And I would say the problem is we're at page six and we're still addressing a flashback that just reestablishes what we already know, that Ben Riley is completely bonkers. Ben says, indeed, we have a problem. And Peter counters, not we, you. And with a dry cool wit like that, Peter could be an action hero. They fight. <laughs> Peter webs a demonic motor scooter. And I think anyone who drives one of those things in New York City has to be part demon anyway. Am I right, Dan? I Peter's mean, those been, things are like like ready to clip you around every corner. I, I, I can't stand them. Anyway, Peter's been doing this longer while the scooter cries in pain and fear. Ben reveals he too has some new tricks, including weaponizing his spider sense. Apparently the side effects of being dropped in psycho-reactive goo, along with the endless need to gaslight everyone. Ben elicits a sonic axe or something, and then we cut over to the X-Men's treehouse... And I am just at a loss here. Mark, I love that you haven't read any modern X-Men because like all of this must sound completely insane. Like I'm imagining in your mind, it's like Xavier is like, look, X-Men, I have an idea. No more school for the gifted. We're investing in tree houses and chill vibes from now on. Like, I, I, honestly, like you must be baffled by this. Like I, I, here, let's take a side br break. Tell me what you imagine is going on in the X-Men's treehouse I, in New York City. I have no idea. I, I mean, it's just like, like, it's like Peter, like, you know, hanging. Well, no, he's, he's not with Kitty. I don't know, because I don't follow X-Men, Dan. I, like, so, like, what are they, like, playing tiddlywinks? Are they fighting over the, the first issue of Radioactive Man? I'm just, like, throwing all these Simpsons references out there right now, guys, because that's all I got. <laughs> that's all I got when it comes to this. <laughs> All right, well, take us back to the comic, Mark. All right, all right, all right. Well, it's it's we're now queuing in on Madeline and Hollow's Eve and Venom, okay? Who are three people who have never been in my kitchen, Alex? Venom doesn't know what they're talking about, and for once, Venom is all of us, or at least me. Hollow's Eve is going to put on her face, and it's a Frankenstein monster's face, and Madeline wants to ruin the X-Men's Christmas. These are sentences I am writing right now, and you all have to listen to me recite them as you're doing right now. Comics people, right? Eve then kicks Venom to the curb, but we're going to follow him in Venom issue 14. You bet I will. I cannot wait to read more of this. Back to Peter and Ben. Peter gets Ben a new concussion for Christmas. I mean, that's a little cruel to do to someone who had a brain injury, don't you think? Ben <laughs> drops a little sphere, and Peter is like, I've had enough. And Ben is all like, what are you going to do about it? Yes, this is actual dialogue. Did Zeb Wells get concussed for Christmas? Okay. <laughs> so they took it out some more. And Ben gets the upper hand because unlike Peter, he doesn't hold back. The little orb thing provides Peter with a vision into Limbo where he sees Jonah and Robbie getting tortured. So Ben uses Peter's outrage to trick him into saying, take me to Limbo. And since he truly meant it, in this binding agreement, a tentacle rises from the ground and carries Peter to Limbo, where we get a cliffhanger ending with a young Peter in his vintage Dicko sweater vest getting yelled at by a demonic Jonah to get back to work, Spider-Man. I need pictures of Spider-Man. No, he didn't say that. He just said, get back to work. Um, although I don't know what a demonic Jonah would sound like. Do you think it would be quite that growly? I mean, we should have gotten Matt Little on to do that part. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the issue, Dan.